नमस्ते इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्व इन बायोसिंथेसिस स्टोरेज एंड रिलीज ऑफ द न्यूरोट्रांसमीटर ऑफ एडेनर्जिक सिस्टम नॉरेफिनेफ्रीन नाउ वी विल लुक एट द मेटाबॉलिक रिएक्शंस ऑकरिंग टू मेटाबॉलाइज नॉरेफिनेफ्रीन द सेम रिएक्शंस मेटा आर रिस्पांसिबल फॉर metabolism of the congeners of norepinephrine one thing may be bore in the mind that it is the metabolism which converts norepinephrine into its metabolite by this conversion there doesn't remain any affinity between norepinephrine and its receptor and it is the metabolism which is responsible for dislodging the norepinephrine from its receptor hence the receptor can acquire its own conformation thereby culminating the activity of the norepinephrine let us now look at the reactions involved the structures of norepinephrine and its immediate congener epinephrine they are catecholamines that is they are having two hydroxy groups on the phenyl ring and a primary amino group in norepinephrine and n methylated amino group in epinephrine this chemistry of the neurotransmitter norepinephrine and epinephrine is utilized by one of the enzyme which is densely distributed in the brain that is mono amino oxidase this mono amino oxidase enzyme is patrolling the synaptic cleft as soon as the molecules of norepinephrine are released into the synaptic cleft mono amino oxidase enzyme metabolizes most of the norepinephrine and inactivates it converts it into its metabolite we may take a pause think over the process of metabolism that occurs with norepinephrine the enzyme involved in the metabolism of norepinephrine in the central nervous system and write it down welcome back the process of metabolism which occurs centrally over norepinephrine is due to the effect of mono amino oxidase enzyme this mono amino oxidase enzyme converts the primary amino group as norepinephrine is having a single amino group the enzyme attacks this and converts it into an aldehyde the derivative is called dihydrophenyl glyoxal commonly called as dopgal this dopgal has no longer any affinity with the receptor and hence is dislodged from the receptor culminating the effect of norepinephrine the dopgal escapes from the neuronal sites into the blood stream and in the periphery it is metabolized by another enzyme called catechol o methyl transferase as catechol structure is present in dopgal it is also present in norepinephrine and this enzyme attacks the catechol and converts this third hydroxy group into o methyl group by transferring methyl group to substitute hydrogen we may again take a pause think and write the reaction of conversion from norepinephrine to dopgal and dopgal 
to the metabolite which is generated by the action of catechol O methyl transferase. Welcome back. You may have come to the conclusion that norepinephrine by the action of monoamine oxidase is converted to dopegol that is the amino group is converted into an aldehyde group. The same reaction cannot occur in epinephrine because the amino group is pro well protected by the methyl group. It takes some more time to metabolize epinephrine than it takes for norepinephrine. While when these metabolites escape the neuronal sites and go into the periphery, they are acted upon by catechol O methyl transferase because both are catechol derivatives. Hence, they are susceptible to metabolism by this enzyme. Further, these structures are metabolized by other enzymes. They are aldehyde oxidase, which converts this aldehyde molecule into an acid molecule. The derivative is called hydroxyhomovalinic acid. The same thing is reduced by aldehyde reductase enzyme, which converts it into an alcohol. In summary, there are two enzymes responsible for the metabolism of norepinephrine and their congeners. They are monoamino oxidase which is active centrally converting the amino group over the catecholamines into an aldehyde. Another enzyme which is widely distributed in the periphery, it attacks the catechol containing structures norepinephrine and their congeners, they have catechol -like structures in their structure and they transfer a methyl group over the third hydroxy group and inactivate the neurotransmitter as well as their congeners. This thread has been abstracted from 4S Principles of Medicinal Chemistry 6th edition. Thank you.